So we're gonna go inside, Dave and Kathy's house now. Big uh, thermos room, front door. You have the dining area with a double, uh, a double tray ceiling. And we actually have to do a lot of work to have a double tray like this. Um, a lot of builders, what they'll do is they'll actually drop the ceiling where the tray is uh, to be able to have that ceiling detail. That's just not how Hagen does it. Um, you know, we do things differently. Um, they're not necessarily easier, but it's the right way to do it. Uh, so we did not drop the ceiling. The ceiling actually starts at 10, whereas all the other builders are at nine. Uh, most builders actually drop the ceiling where there's a ceiling detail as well to even lower than nine. And then like in the copper or in the tray, that's where it would be nine again. So this one's not only already at 10, but then it jumps up to 11 and then it jumps up to 12. Uh, so it's a 12 foot ceiling in this uh, dining area, which gives the house a lot of uh, volume, a lot of character. And then outside of the dining area is the great room. So you got built-ins on either side. And we did a vaulted coffer uh, detail, which is really nice. You can see here. And then we actually have the cabinets in now and they look awesome. Um, that island is huge and beautiful. And all those doors underneath actually do open as well. So there's more cabinetry down there. Um, but this is the great room area. So again, you have a breakfast nook off in the corner. Kitchen here. Um, you can see uh, that door goes into a pantry, which we'll see in a second. Wet bar area, dining area, foyer, and there's a split floor plan. You have um, one guest suite here, and then the guest rooms. Look at that window. All the windows; those are beautiful. Uh, the guest rooms all have their own ensuite bath, so nice size double vanity. Um, water closet which is a really nice size zero entry all tile shower with frameless doors tile bench just really beautiful and then we're gonna go to the second so closet another beautiful bathroom i mean every bathroom in this house is mo nicer than most builders Master, and these are the guest. These are the guest bathrooms. Um, you know, you have frameless again. Just beautiful zero entry, beautiful tile. Um, another guest suite in the back here with amazing views. Look at these views. Golf course back there. Nice uh, sanctuary area right there, and then the pool is going to go right behind the rear porch there. So we're gonna head over to the other side of the home. Again, let's check out the kitchen. So you're gonna have your wall oven right there. And then of course your cooktop is here. And then we have the decorative hood vent. Look at how big that, that is. That's an exhaust fan right there. We're gonna do some serious cooking in this kitchen. Nice, uh, really cool. Sink, dishwasher will go in this area. And then uh, the microwave is actually gonna go here. And then you're gonna have your beverage fridge and station here. And then the pantry is amazing. Check out all that storage space in that pantry. And um, we recently did a video with um, Wayne, our uh, appliance manufacturer. This house is going to have um, a Sub-Zero fridge. It's going to have Thermador, Wolf, Viking. Uh, we can source Miele as well. Um, so you have plenty of choices when picking out appliances. Um, and then of course, you know, a lot of folks go with KitchenAid, which is great. That's what I have in my house. I love it. The dishwasher, you can't tell it's on. And then as well, you also get to customize your cabinetry. So um, yesterday I did a video with Rachel, um, which will come out here very soon. And you'll see how our process works with our kitchen design, uh, which is a really neat process. It's really fun. And then this is the breakfast nook here. So you can see it's got a nice detail. And then going off into the back, we have your rear porch, which is huge, wired for TV. Um, you can see our spray foam insulation here. Um, so we spray foam every house that we build. 
which is a really nice feature. It's unique. We're actually the only builder east of I-95 that does uh, fully encapsulate spray foam, fully encapsulate every home they build in spray foam. Um, so it's not just unique to Wilmington, but the entire east or uh, east coast. So it's uh, definitely a neat factor for Haygood. It's going to be make the house much more energy efficient. But check out the size of this rear porch. It's going to be tile. Um, and then there's going to be wood lintels above all these doors here, which will look really, really nice. Gonna head back inside. Let's check out this great room. So then we're going to head back um, this way. This is going to go to the bonus room. You have your garage here and those are actually the wood lintels we're going to go i'm talking about the lintels those are going to be the ones that go over all the windows and doors so you can kind of get an idea of what that's going to look like so a lot of detail in this house and then we'll go up in the bonus room here in a minute you have your pantry or i'm sorry powder room Wrong P word. Powder room here. Storage. More storage. So this is uh, something we do unique as well. Um, all of our houses, every house we build is going to have one of these. This is where all of your audio visual or low voltage wiring is going to come in. Um, so there's going to be one access point. So everything is going to come in and out. It's very, very organized and it's, you know, the smart way to do things now with everything being so technologically driven. The laundry room is here. Notice all the cabinetry, very nice. And it ties right into the master bedroom as well. So we'll see that in a second. Um, so we're doing some trim work in this room. Check out the ceiling. So this is the master bedroom. Check out the ceiling. Really tall, really nice. I can't give you an idea. There's a ladder there, so you can kind of get an idea of how tall everything is. So there's a bigger ladder. <laughs> so definitely a lot of detail. And then this is going into the master bathroom. You have a nice linen closet here. Tons of natural light in this bathroom, a lot of vanity space. So you got his, hers, and a drop vanity in the center. And then you have your water closet, which is a nice size. I love the shower in here. Check out this shower. It is massive. So you come in, beautiful, beautiful tile. I mean, this tile in this bathroom is gorgeous. And check out the details, double benches. So you have a bench on this side, bench on that side, of course, zero entry. You have your niches for all of your shampoos and soaps and things like that. You got a um, mount here, a mount here, handhelds on the other side, and these are all the diverters. So this house actually has four controllers in the master just because it's got four different shower heads. And then this is like I was saying, the master closet ties right into the laundry, which is super convenient. That's a thing that a lot of folks are asking for. And then we'll go upstairs. Actually, we're not because there's not stairs, but uh, we'll see the stairs later. <laughs> no, it's all good. I can't. We'll go up there later. Thank you. Thank you.